All right, here's the probably the last installment of the Mad Max series. I've come up with this for burning waste vegetable oil, and it's pretty complicated. All I need is a small blue flame and a garage ish 700 square feet. And I thought this would be the best thing to do it. I'd use the heat exchanger off of this, you know, make a make a burn box stuff, have a safety in case the flame went out, but it's getting too complicated. So I'm going to start from the beginning and we're going to go through and light this thing. Uh, I've got two on the go. I'm going to try and get you to see inside here. We got 24 holes, 24 holes around the top. And even a little deeper, there's half of that holes. And then, I don't know if I can get right in there. And right at the bottom, there are, there's four or five holes that feed the oil coming in. We'll, we'll regress here. This is actually a beer... Uh, this is a beer holder like it's a stainless steel same as this one with the plastic off the top and Beer slides in there it's supposed to keep things cool Whatever it's stainless steel and it was free. So What I've done is went all the way around this one drilled the holes and then put a piece of stainless clamped on with some uh, Zip tie or not zip ties, but uh, cables or some ties. I don't know what they're called. Uh, so then I drilled a big hole and I mounted, friction mounted a piece of copper on the first layer of the two layered stainless steel holder. This in fact brings air in around and it pushes it through here. Uh, I have some ideas. I had really good luck I think I'm just going to put you guys over here. Let's, let's see if I can. Yeah, I don't know. So, so here's my original one. It's got the ties. The air goes in there and that comes out these holes here. Probably can't see that. I had moderate success with this until I started using ceramic uh ceramic see-through stuff like it's i don't know what it's called but it's you can there's holes in the ceramic piece so what i have done is i just usually set them in there but the wind blows them around and they don't they're not right so i've made a piece of stainless steel and it just holds these ceramic pieces you know in the right place so when the wind blows at them it makes heat and then the oil gets sucked up from the bottom so until then it was just kind of everything was going around and around so I made this and I put this inside the burn chamber right and so now there's something sturdy inside there's something sturdy inside and it, it doesn't move so much. On my next one, same thing, beer, beer holder. But I'm going to make, I don't know, probably 30 holes, 24 holes along the top. A little further down, I'm going to make half as many holes. And a little farther down from there, I'm going to make even half as many holes as here. So the... The burn chamber on this one is only about, the depth is only about this big. This is where the oil hose goes in. So it's only that big. I'm going to make this next one. Uh, the hose that goes in is going to be here and it's going to be, it's going to be deep. And the ceramic inserts, I could call them, are going to go like there. And there's going to be four, probably one, to three three air holes directed right at 
and it's here. So when the air blows in, it hits directly here and makes this hot and it just vaporizes the oil. That's that. I don't know. And then there's then there's this one. Because that other thing I just showed you is too complicated. So I'm just gonna get a piece of tube. I'm gonna feed some air. I'm gonna feed some air through a pipe. Uh, I don't know, a piece of three quarter inch pipe. I got some holes drilled. This is the first kick at it. It didn't work so well. But at least now I can I can just replace whatever this is, bigger, smaller holes. And that's another video. I am not getting into that right now. So this had moderate success. And maybe we can just go and fire this thing up right now. We're going to take a quicker, uh, a, a more in-depth look at what's going on here. There's some used vegetable oil. Here's the pipe that goes into the burn chamber. There's a fan behind that. Is an old shark vacuum retrofitted tailbilly. It's just like, it's a good time. And behind you somewhere is just our pump. Just a plain old pump. So, we've got some controls. Here's actual the, this one is the one that turns the pump on and off. And for this unit heater, like this whole unit heater, right? It's just a unit heater with some heat exchanger tubes and stuff. Uh, and there's a pipe, of course, the pipe goes out. Out. Oh through the bottom had to cut a hole whatever it's just kind of it's duct tape there it was a good time and there's a fan that came with a unit heater and a induction blower that came with a unit heater too I just kind of wired them wired them into each other but I did make this box here I don't know if you can see in there no you can't oh whatever there's a there's the heating tubes I got a fridge gasket, no, not a stove gasket, and I just patched together some crap. So, this is all that it is. Here's a safety. These are on the oil heater stuff. And when you turn things on, it'll go for 30 seconds. If it sees no flames, it'll shut everything off. Now you can see the pump is pumping. And I'm not sure what I got it set at, but last time I tried it was, it's pumping about. And, uh, on, there you go. It's pumping a drip a second. I don't know, I gotta figure that out too, but it's, that's how much is going in there. So, and that's that, and we're just gonna shut everything off, because it's not ready, and we'll, we'll fire this thing up, uh, and I'll show you how it's how it works.